Hi guys, my name is Anderson and in this series of tutorials I'm going to show you the behavior machine basics. In this first video I'm going to talk about the action state. The action state is a visual scripting component. With it you can add some behaviors to your game objects without need to write a single line of code. In this example, I move the cube from the blue square to the green square. For that, I need to edit the nodes in the action state. The action state has a list of nodes that runs when the component becomes enabled. To move the cube, I'm going to use the twin node called move2. You can see the description of the node if you let the mouse over its name. The move to does exactly what I need. It moves the object from its position to a desired position over time. Not only the node, but all its properties has a helper message. take 3 seconds and the desired position is the green square. Done, let's enter in the play mode and see what happens. Now I want to repeat this movement in a loop. The loop option makes the movement to be repeated in a loop, starting from its original position. The ping pong option will move forward and backward. I can change any property during runtime and get feedback on the fly. For example, I can set the time for 1 second to speed up the move to, or 10 seconds to make it slow. Thank you very much for watching.